Okay guys, heading out. I've just got to go down and pay some bills, but uh, while I'm driving down, I thought I might as well do a topic on what uh, rural people in Japan like to spend their money on. But before this, I'd like to give a quick shout out to my new Patreon, Felix. Shout out to our new Patreon member, Felix. Again, Felix, thanks a lot for supporting the channel. So since a lot of people in these rural areas are farmers, uh, they run to a different uh, life schedule than most, so uh, they spend their money also in different ways. So they may work seven days a week for extended months, and then they have uh, quite a lot of time off later, and uh, this is how they like to spend their money. So everybody's heard of the payday millionaire. They get paid at the end of their fortnight or the end of the month and uh, they go and blow all their money. And uh, farmers do a bit of this as well. So the revenue from their crop uh, comes in once a year and uh, all of a sudden they're loaded. And uh, a lot of them like to go on a short overseas trip for a week or two. Uh, most popular destinations, at least where I am, uh, are Guam, Taiwan, Hawaii and South Korea. So they'll get their check from the JA or from the market, from wherever, and uh, they'll already have their trip pre-planned and uh, they'll be off and uh, usually it's for two weeks. So they'll go and do uh, what they want to do and the year later, a lot of them will just choose a different destination, but it's quite surprising uh, just how well traveled a lot of people are in these rural areas. And it's because they run to a different schedule. So if a person working in an office in a major city might only get there three or four weeks off and they have family obligations and they don't really get to do these sort of things uh, at least every year anyway. So this is true mainly of ladies. Uh, men, not so much. It's not really their thing traveling. They may get taken along kicking and screaming, but uh, men like to spend their money on machinery. Updating their K truck. So they might have a K truck that's only four or five years old and uh, they'll just go and trade it in and get a new one. And uh, they're quite happy to do that. Or they'll get a new tractor or they'll get a new tiller. They'll just get something uh, machinery or gadgetry. Um, they love spending their money on that sort of stuff. Of all the foreigners that I've met here, uh, we sort of keep our old stuff and uh, try and get the most value out of it, keep fixing it and everything like that. Uh, but it's not really the case here. When something gets uh, old in their minds, uh, they sort of just get rid of it and get something new. That's like a little bit of a hobby for them and uh, they like new stuff. As usual, I always ask uh, around before I do these videos, uh, little odd questions and uh, I got uh, two people who said that they bought a $200 pillow in the last year. <laughs> So I don't know too many people that spend $200 on a pillow and uh, replace it fairly often. Um, but uh, I asked around about the pillows and how much they paid for them and uh, they find it a bit of a funny question but uh, they all have expensive pillows and uh, they like expensive pillows and a lot of people out here have massage chairs and everybody knows how expensive massage chairs are. So a massage chair, um, a decent one, you're looking at maybe $5,000, $6,000 uh, just for a good chair. So they don't mind to spend uh, money on quality items that uh, give them a bit of pleasure, like a nice pillow or a nice chair. Um, so it's spending on, you know, uh, repainting the house or redoing the kitchen, which is quite a common uh, recurring expense at least where I grew up people spending money on re-renovating kitchens that are perfectly fine and still cook the food just as well as a new kitchen uh, they prefer to spend the money in this manner 
So a lot of ladies where I come from um, will go and spend 40, 50, 60 thousand dollars on a new kitchen but uh, won't spend a hundred dollars on a cooking lesson. And uh, their brand new kitchen, $60,000 kitchen is still pumping out sausages and eggs. So uh, it's a, everybody spends money differently. Out here, a lot of people don't put money into their uh, buildings. So upgrading their bathrooms, upgrading their kitchens, things like this. Uh, because out in rural areas, houses are worth next to nothing. So they will spend some money um, going to onsens. Uh, they might go to onsen once or twice a month. Uh, that's another thing they like to spend money on and they get together with their friends. They have little onsen clubs and also uh, other clubs, um, bag making clubs, uh, rice clubs, all different sort of clubs. That's the sort of the social scene. I'll put a link to that, how that works in the description but uh, they have sort of a budget that they like to spend every month on their clubs and uh, they sort of stick to so many activities and uh, they might change it up through the years. So another thing I've noticed too, and you might notice as well, when you're in uh, rural areas, there seems to be a disproportionate amount of hairdressers. People have got hairdresser shops operating out of their houses and uh, not only is it a convenient low sort of uh, cost to set up operation there's a high demand for it and uh, most ladies get their hair cut at least monthly um, to go longer than a month uh, without getting your hair cut would be unusual uh, at least out where I am and uh, they like to uh, look good and uh, get their hair cut quite often so this is true for the ladies and uh, the ladies pretty much are the majority out in country areas the men not so much on that sort of vein stuff but uh, clothes not so much um, because a lot of people are working manual jobs they don't need to be wearing two three hundred dollar suits i've got a few friends that work in uh, office environments in australia and uh, a lot of times they're just talking to people on the phone and uh, they could probably do it in their underwear but uh, the standard is everybody has to have sort of a wardrobe that costs five thousand dollars every year and uh, always buying new ties and new suits and new shirts stuff like that you don't have that expense if you're living out here a big one too um, a lot of people might have met uh, young Japanese overseas or maybe even Japan in the big cities and they might mention that um, they grew up in a country area and they might have a degree in something the chances are their uh, education expenses were paid for 100% by their family um, they take uh, education seriously uh, for their kids and uh, they sock money away and uh, I know quite a few people who have paid for their entire children's education, which is uh, not cheap. Um, and uh, that's uh, highly valued. So another big one too, um, especially as people get older and uh, they're more uh, financially secure and they've got lots of things already sorted out financially in their lives uh, they're very generous with their children um, I found uh, buying new cars for them uh, it's good stuff for their grandkids and uh, they just don't go without so they really look after their their families if they have the means and uh, it seems that they spend a lot of money uh, looking after their grandkids and kids when they come up to visit from the cities and uh, they generally spare no expense at all. So anyway guys, I'm back home. Thought I might do a quick video on uh, what people like to spend their money on. I think it um, provides a little bit of insight anyway uh, into the people that live out here in rural Japan. And uh, as always, 
Hope you like the video. Let's go, go. GG. A bird's just got uh, stuck in here. And uh, Gigi's caught it. Naughty boy.